So it's been some time since I tried this one, test loop two with a couple of uncontrolled left turns. Now turn left onto Plum Canyon Road. Still running the FSD beta version 8.2. We're clear to the left, it needs to move forward. Okay, there we go, it's clear to the right. It should go right now if it wanted to go. It's stopping. Okay, I'm just gonna tell it to go because it's wide open. There's the right turn lane on its own change for the upcoming right. In 500 feet, turn right onto Golden Valley Road. Okay, let's see how it gets in this right turn lane. Turn Nicely right done. Golden Valley Road. Green light, so it should go right into the turn here. It's doing it nice and smooth right now. A little hesitant on the right, but there we go. Nice, it's not getting out of this lane, so that's good, it's staying in the right lane. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto the other lane. Okay, and right turn into here. Slowing a little far back again. There's no one behind me, so I'm letting this play out. Okay, the construction's gone here now, so it's able to make this turn without hesitation. Now turn left onto Saxon Circle. Let's see how it handles this little residential area. Nice, making the left. Let's make another left. There we go. Nice continuous left. Okay. Now let's set back to our start point. Okay. Now I'm not going to do that speed, so I'll slow it down a little bit. Turn right onto Saxama Circle. Okay. Should make the right. It's stopping. There's no one around, so I'm just letting this see what it does. See, it's going wide here still. Didn't keep it tight, and we're in the oncoming lane of traffic right now. No one's coming, so I'm letting this play out safely. Okay, now we're getting over. There we go. Now turn right onto Saxama Circle. Signaling for the right here. We're a little far, too far to the left again, but... Okay, we've got a couple of obstacles here with vehicles. Let's see how it handles this. No one coming from the left. And it looks clear from the right. Yep, there we go. It's handling this on its own. Yeah, yeah some room for improvement, but it did pretty good. Again, a little far left. Okay, coming to a stop to make the right here. Okay, now let's see how it handles this uncontrolled left across to get uh, with two oncoming, two left lanes of traffic it has to cross. And then it also has to watch two right lanes of traffic to merge into. Oh, that's going slow because I had it set slow. Okay, it's a little far right in the lane. Okay, it looks clear to the left and it looks clear to the right. I'm just going to let this play out. A little head slow, but it's, it's good. As you can see there, there's the oncoming car from the left. But it played, it out, played out okay without any intervention on my part. I suspect when V9 is released, we'll see the system able to make a decision quicker. That's actually what I'm anticipating. It's still moving over to this left lane instead of being in that right left turn lane. Because as soon as we make this left, it's gonna immediately get in the right lane. See how it handles this. So I'm gonna, I have two cars in this right, this right left turn lane. So I wanna see how it handles merging back in. Three cars. Four cars. <laughs> okay, well, we're definitely getting ahead of them here. So it's got lots of room if it goes now. There we go. And it didn't crowd them or anything. It just moved over nicely. Okay, it's 
already starting to slow down for this right turn. It's a little early to be slowing down. Let's see if it gets into this right turn lane. It's heavily decelerating now. It's getting over. There was enough room behind me. I let that play out, but it could have moved over a little quicker. Otherwise, really nicely done.